Ebony State will not vote for Labour Party, says Dave Umai. Hey guys, this is the DJ MTV Daily News update. The governor of Ebony State, Governor Dave Umai, has stressed that Ebony people would not vote for Labour Party in the 2023 general election in the state. He made it clear why swearing in ceremony of five commissioners and two special assistants, SA, into his cabinet, including six development center coordinators at the ESCO chambers of the new government as in Eboin Abakleke. The video we're about to watch, the governor insisted that the state will vote only for the All Progressive Congress because the state is an APC state and he also urged the people not to vote for the Labour Party during the election. According to the governor of the state, the vote of Ebony State only belongs to the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress. But in another report, the Ebony State governor had denied and debunked the rumor that was making the run that he asked people of the state not to vote only for the All Progressive Congress APC in the 2023 presidential election. In a statement that was signed by Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Francis Wanze, he said that he was only saying his earlier promise to support the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinibu still stand. The statement reads in part, Our attention has been drawn to the insinuation in some quarters suggesting that the Ebony State Governor Engineer David Mai specifically said that Ebony State people should not vote for a particular candidate in the 2023 presidential election. What the governor Umai said during a stakeholder meeting on Monday was in the spirit of sportsmanship to emphasize his earlier resolve to support the eventual winner of the presidential election, who later turned out to be Asiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinibu. The statement by Governor Dave Umai by all standards only underscored his determination to live up to his earlier comment of supporting the party standard flag bearer. But in the video we are about to watch, we saw the Ebony State governor who said that Ebony State will not vote for Labour Party and will only vote for the All Progressive Congress because our vote in Ebony State is for the APC and not for Labour Party. Our agenda is Ebony State agenda and not Igbo agenda. We will vote for our presidential candidate in the person of Tinibu. We must strive to liberate Ebony State and that is our agenda. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. I appeal to you. We have to take this voter registration seriously. Make calls to your brothers and sisters outside the Bodans. Our population should be number one in the country. A time for action has come. It's not a time to be complaining. And let me tell you, let nobody come to tell you about the agenda. The agenda first we have is a Bonya agenda. When I hear me so, our party in Ebony is APC. It's not Labour Party. We will not vote for Labour Party. We will vote for APC. There is a party that is doing all these things for us. That's the party we vote for. Yes. The states that Labour Party has helped should vote for them. No, be so. The agenda on board for Ebony State is Ebony State uh, agenda. Now, so you go to tell them when they come to tell you noises, ask them, did you vote for us? When they hear me, ask them, did you vote for us? Is it because now Ebony State? Do not look for our votes. Our votes belong to APC. <laughs> T 
Tinubu started with only one state and used it to liberate his people. We have to liberate ourselves from our brothers and sisters in Southeast. We need it. We need to tell every one of them that we have arisen. And don't be apologetic in saying it. Say with all boldness, I am black and proud. Welcome back, guys. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. If this is your first time on seeing any of our video or your returning subscriber, please do not forget to like, share, and comment on all our videos. Please follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube, and also on Instagram. Also, check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. Let's go back straight up into the main news. Now, we've heard from the governor of Ebony State, who categorically said in that video that Ebony State will not vote for Labour Party, that Ebony State will only vote for the All Progressive Congress, APC. And now, um, his media aide came online and said that um, um, Dave Umai never said Ebony State will not vote for a particular candidate. He said Dave Umai never said that Ebony State will not vote for any party. He said Dave Umai was only reiterating that um, he was going to support Tinubu as a Wajibola for um, emerging as a flag bearer. Now, the question is. Um, from the video we've watched and from the statement made by um, the media assistant to Governor Dave Umai, um, what or uh, which is the correct statement? Um, did he or did he not say? Because from what he said, he is denying the fact that he, he never said such. Um, but the video um, captured him saying that everyone said will not vote for the Labour Party uh, because the Labour Party did not vote for um, any of them in a boy state. But the question is, before Dave Umai came into the All Progressive Congress, he, won his election. he was in the People's Democratic Party. He never won his election in the All Progressive Congress. He became the governor through the People's Democratic Party. And now he's saying that the Labour Party did not vote for him. Um, in the All Progressive Congress, and that is like contradicting uh, what uh, is on ground. So, guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Do you think that um, Dave Umai has the right to tell Ebony people who they are going to vote for, or is just um, telling that to his commissioner and his special assistant who to vote for? A lot of Nigeria has said that Governor Dave Umai is just pain that the South East did not vote for him during um, his campaign as the APC flag bearer where he lost the election to Ahmed Asiwaju Bola Tinimbo and um, he has insulted the Oranese in the Bo, um, that he doesn't care about the Igbo agenda. That is to say that he doesn't support the Igbo agenda because he feels that he was betrayed. But the question is, was he really betrayed? And in all, he has never blamed um, the his emo counterpart in the All Progressive Congress talking about oh Uzadima, and now he's blaming the ONC and then the Igbo race for not voting for him at the All Progressive Congress convention where Tinubu emerged the winner. Now, guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Share them with us in the comment section below. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV.